It's not about the world. We have to fix our country. The world, we want to be a leader, the leader. But I'm right now, I'm president of the United States. I'm not president of the world. I say it all the time. I want to make America great again. I want to, I want to do what we have. You know, years ago, we made our own product. We didn't rely on everybody in the world. They have their own problems. They so what happened? They just wanted to do it cheaper? They wanted labs So you have globalists. They're globalists. They're people that think we have to make the world wealthy at our expense. I don't even know where these people come from. But those days are over. I'm even you know, stronger about it, America first. Uh, China, I made a great trade deal. The ink wasn't dry when the plague came over from China. But the ink wasn't even dry. They didn't tell you about it when they came here on the 15th of January no, and shook everybody's hands. That was never even a subject. That was not anything that anybody really understood or knew about at the time. But China, uh, I'm very disappointed in China. I will tell you that right now. I have a lot and, of and questions Maria, on China, We, can, we can do things in our country. We can, you know, we used to make our own product. Would you believe it, right? We used to make our own product. We don't need uh, 37 pencils. We can buy two pencils. And they can be better. But, you know, we went astray. The whole thing, we went astray. I've been talking about this for 20 years. Probably it's the number one reason I ran for president. Because I saw that our car industry is leaving, going to Mexico. You know, Mexico makes 30% of our cars. It's not even believable. Well, business and Canada wanted, makes a lot of our businesses cars. Businesses wanted cheap labor, but they also wanted lax environmental rules. See, the cheap labor turned out to be very expensive because when you add what this is costing, you just take a look at what's happening. And when you add what's costing by us with our drugs, our pharmaceutical products, so many different Minerals. things. So I put tariffs on China, and we've taken in tens of billions of dollars. I gave a lot of those that money to the farmers because they were targeted by China. And every other president let China do whatever they wanted. You know, we were we were losing anywhere from two hundred billion to five hundred billion dollars to China a year. Think of it. We rebuilt China, and I give them a lot of credit. But I don't give our past presidents and leaders a lot of credit because they got taken to the cleaner, cleaners. And worst of all was the last eight years under President Obama and Biden. I'm gonna, his son I'm gets, get to that. His son gets a billion and a half dollars and then they're supposed to be tough on China. Doesn't work that he, way. You changed the conversation on China, obviously. And now we're seeing the average American understand that we cannot have 70% of our active ingredients in our prescription drugs made in China. But how are you going to get these companies to actually bring the supply chain back to America? Are you going to do tax breaks? How do you okay. incentivize them to do it? I could tell you hundreds of stories of the stupidity that I've seen. As an example, we make a fighter jet. It's a certain fighter jet. I won't tell you which, but it happens to be the F-35, okay? <laughs> it's a great jet. And... We make parts for this jet all over the world. We make them in Turkey. We make them here. We make them there. We, all because President Obama and others, I'm not just blaming him, wanted, thought it was a wonderful thing. The problem is if we have a problem with a country, you can't make the jet. If we have, a, we get parts from all over the place. It's so crazy. We should make everything in the United States. It's Will better. they do it? Number one, it's better. So yeah, we're doing it because I'm changing all those policies. Look. We make F-35s, very important, the greatest jet in the world, where the main body of the jet is made in Turkey. And then it's sent here. So what happens? We have a good relationship with President Erdogan. What happens if we don't, with me? What happens if we don't have? Are they going to say, well, we're not going to give you this, so we have to now gear up and it China takes a long time to do China said that. They threatened us that they weren't going to send the prescription oh, we drugs if you kept poking we with the tariffs. We have many things. Okay? We've been threatened. Well, I've taken in billions of dollars in tariffs, and these drug companies have to get on the ball because they're going off not only to China. So are you going to incentivize? You look at you're where they're going. Them tax they're going breaks? to India, and they're going to Ireland, and they're going they, they all over the place. They make Apple it. said now they're going to go to India. Uh, they're going to do some production in if, India away from if China. If they do... You know, we gave uh, Apple a little bit of a break because they're competing with a company that was a part of a trade deal that we made. So it was a little bit unfair to Apple. But we're not allowing this anymore. You know, if we wanted to put up our own border like other countries do to us, Apple would build 100% of their product in the United States. That's the way it would work. But uh, So you don't think you need to do anything in terms of incentivize? I to get have them. to do. No, you I will. have to do. But will it one be tax in, breaks? One incentive, frankly, is to charge tax for them when they make product outside. We don't have to do much for them. 
they have to do for us. Look, you have these companies and they build, as an example, Mexico. Great relationship with Mexico. They've been very nice to us. They have 27,000 of their soldiers on our border because I insisted on it. Yeah, I remember. But you have Mexico. They build a car and they send it over to the border. No tax, no nothing. When we build cars, we send them to other countries. If you take Europe, European Union, it was formed for the benefit of themselves against us, okay? It was formed to hurt us. If you take the European Union, Maria, it's so sad. They send cars over, no tax. If we want to sell a car over there, it's an impossibility. I feel like we've been talking about this for three years. Yeah. You've, been, you've been opening the oh, yeah. spotlight on and this I, for three years. And I've made a, a lot of changes. You're too. going to Pennsylvania yeah. Thursday. Right. Um, what is this about? This is partly to see what kind of manufacturing we can do here, It's right? about manufacturing. I want to bring it all back.